How's it going guys? 223 Frank the Tank here doing my top picks for Coast Guard vessels in Stormworks. We'll be doing uh, just an overview of the different vessels that I use and the ones that you could use for your story or campaign mode. So let's get right into it. The first pick on my list is the Isle of Dawn Coast Guard FRC3 Vigilant made by Little Roll. This is a, a medium sized uh, cutter, uh, I forgot which class, I think it's a sentinel class, so let's check it out. So now we're on board and it's actually really nicely detailed, so let's take a look around here. We got some nice detail on the bow of the ship, we got this little cannon for aesthetic, it's obviously not functional, got a little first aid area, we can try to make these tours pretty quick because uh, I want to do five ships today, show you guys five ships of different sizes. So let's see, we got a door here, boom, close that, that's interesting, using keys for everything, but alright, let's go down here, hit a little another hidden door, this looks like a little pantry, cool. So I'm, I'm assuming this brings us straight to, this to be unlocked, authorized personnel only, <laughs> okay, interesting, plenty of little hidden doors here, let's see what this is for, <clears throat> cool, a little surveillance area just for looks again, I'll just turn that off, just for looks, lights, Cool, cool little camera area. Let's keep going down here. This is interesting that all of the lights are sectional. They're, it's not just lights to turn on the whole ship. So you can kind of just shut off lights when you're done being in an area. Got a little office over here. Shut that door. Interesting how everything is turned by key. I'm gonna admit it's not my favorite to do it like this, but it does work. As like a doorknob I guess <laughs> so these are low bunk areas yep more bunks crew bunks and on the left we had something here that's an outside door okay cool so let's shut off the lights and keep going up these stairs here and this is the bridge so this is not a, a very large bridge, but it does have quite a bit of detail in such a small area. So we've got a whole map over here with all the functions. I don't know what these are, low objectives or something. Ship heating. Let's turn on the lights. I'm loving how everything is running quite smooth after the update. So let's check out the back area first before we go into starting the ship. Yeah, cool little. Okay, it comes with a, a rib on the back. So it's using the new seats, as you can tell. Let's see, toggle screens, radar, cool. Let's do it. Ship lights on, flashers, navigation lights. Ah, jet powered. Interesting. And that's it, just like that. Very nice looking ship. For sure one of the more aesthetically pleasing cutters out here. Definitely. And uh, making decent speed, you know. Let's see. Let's see if we have a, a speedometer somewhere. There we go, 30 knots, it's pretty quick, it's not the fastest, but for its size and capabilities, I'd say it's pretty quick, and you've got a rib in the back as well. So let's check the maneuverability on this one, we're going to get to full speed and do some turns and then we're going to put it through some waves.
So it's not going to be as maneuverable as a smaller vessel, but for a large vessel, it turns pretty tightly. Just nothing crazy. <laughs> so let's put it through some waves. Let's see how it handles them. Should be pretty good. We won't go full force. <laughs> Speed wise, it holds up pretty well. Cool, so that's the first ship done. And I'll just end it over here and then go on to the next one. The next ship we're gonna look at today is the US Coast Guard Katmai Bay. It is a ice breaking tug used in the northern the northern seas of the United States. So I chose it because it's quite detailed inside and I just think that icebreakers are pretty pretty cool pretty cool types of ships and we do have the arctic biome now for a while so pretty cool to see this and uh, let's check it out. So here she is from the front and uh, it's a pretty decently sized ship. We've got our little anchors over here for aesthetic, a winch, a couple other decorations. And it just looks like your standard tugboat, to be honest. But in reality, it's an icebreaker. Just doesn't look like the typical one that you might see. You've got all your Arctic and firefighting equipment in the back. Some medical box that is for decoration. Cool little hallway. Bunks. More bunks. A little, I'm guessing, a mess hall area. Yeah. It's a little, well, it's more of a, a little kitchen or something. Or, Preparation room for some sorts. Got a little map area. You got stairs that go down. Ooh. Fire suppression. So this is the engine room. So it's got a little hatch. Pretty cool hatch. Custom hatch. So there's our engine. Engine room. Batteries already on. see maybe I have to start the engines from the from the cabin so let's actually just go up there first and try it out that way so come up through here we got another little I guess this is the captain's bed it's really not too fancy in here Got a little radio for sure, web information, GPS, and these are your radios, cool, cool stuff. Got another little TV, don't know what it connects to, maybe just for aesthetic. So let's see, let's see if this works. There we go. There it is, moving along. I'm a little skewed, so I might scrape the side a bit. It's not gonna be good. Maybe I got a little damage, maybe not. Ah, we're okay, we're good. So there it is. It's really not fast at all, but you know, it's meant to be an icebreaker slash tug. So it's very, very slow. <laughs> seven knots you're not gonna go very very quickly in this thing and I believe that yep you have to stay accelerating else will stop so that's kind of annoying I'm not sure if there's an autopilot or not but pretty cool ship you obviously won't be doing this for any high-speed rescues. This is more for going into the North Pole and cutting through ice or, you know, doing that kind of stuff. But uh, I just like it because of the detailing on it. And uh, definitely reminds me of the tugboat from GTA. So that's why I like it so much. It's obviously a lot cleaner than the tugboat in GTA. But that's what it reminds me of. That's pretty cool. So, on to the next one.
The next ship over here we have is the Isle of Dawn Coast Guard FRB-12 Marlin and it is made by, by uh, Donk himself and his friend Tati. So let's check it out. So this is obviously a much smaller ship. It's more of like a extra large rib and uh, it's for fast response. Fast responses seems to be fictionally armed because there's no weapons and we've got a medical bed some low decoration scuba gear and then the pilot seat so we got nav lights headlights emergency lights tear lights oh probably want some throttle Let's try that again oh these things are so quiet you can't even tell So let's turn on these. Screen left, screen right. Cool. All right, so let's check it out. W, whoa, man, this is quick. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay, so interesting. You have to kind of hold it down. So yeah, we're going a good 60 knots right now, which is pretty quick. Let's turn off some of these lights. Don't know where the radar is at. Oh, there it is. We'll just a zippy low one, so let's do some turning. Wow, could definitely flip yourself accidentally. <laughs> yep, just as I said that. All right, cool. So definitely be careful with this one because <laughs> we're currently very much upside down and sinking. So. <laughs> rest in peace that was uh, very short-lived but yeah there it is the frb12 marlin not merlin by donk and toddy cool little ship fast flow vessel do be careful though you will sink it if you go too quick <laughs> so there it goes bye bye into the depths still trying to restart Sunk pretty quickly because I'm guessing all of the air is basically up there and inside the engine and that got flooded so <laughs> next up on the list we've got the SVACT offshore rescue ship by none other than Mr. New Jersey so let's check it out I'm not gonna do a full tour because obviously Mr. New Jersey has plenty of videos on his ship but I'm just gonna you know turn it on walk around a bit and check it out Starting off at the very back of the ship, you can just tell how big it is. It's actually quite large. You can fit probably a whole entire truck into this back area if you wanted to. It's got a little outdoor walkway, two big cranes on the sides, two uh, life ship holders on the side, and a bunch of controls for the winches that are on the back over here. So these winches. So lots of capability on this. Some maggles, some doors for the rescue area. So this is for deep sea rescues. Oop, we got a little bit of glitch going on here. So there's the engine room. Just gonna take a quick look because you've probably all seen it. Don't know what this weird smoke looking stuff is but let's just head straight for the bridge should be up here yep 
hell we're already moving I didn't even realize so there it is increase throttles I'm sure it could go fast, so I'm probably just doing something wrong to be honest. So, power dev. There we go. Whoa! Look at that boost right there. Much faster now, for sure. Cool. So, yeah, I'll definitely need to play around with this one a little bit more so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but, pretty cool. Got autopilot. Got a little lookout deck. Got many features, but it's just a quick look at the ship, so I'm not gonna go crazy showing everything. So there it is, not super quick, but good enough. Cool decorations all around. Oh, it's got little jet skis up top, I never noticed. Maybe those could uh, reach, be reached with uh, the little, I forgot what those are called, the hold on to lifeboats, but perhaps it could reach behind it and grab it. Yep, that's it for this one. Let's check out the next. Last but not least, this is my number one ship that I use and I think it's the most versatile and useful one. It's called the Jaguar Mark II 25 meter rescue fast response by Spider. And uh, I've basically been using this ship the entirety of when I started playing Stormworks. Well, at least seriously, uh, ever since I got the computer built, but yeah. It's got everything I need for many different mission types and it's one of my favorites and is very quick and let's just take a look. So surely you've, you might have seen me use this ship before in one of my videos just because of uh, it's just such a good ship. <laughs> and it's going to be a quick tour. We've got our scuba gear, we've got passenger seats, we've got a medical bed, we've got diving equipment and then when you open this hatch you get access to the engine room right here cool stuff i think you could uh turn the engines on here if you want to but then we got a little secret hatch compartment which leads back out to the back through the storage hatch so for such a small ship you know you've got a lot of useful space i should say so there's your storage hatch you've got your little grates back here that you could bring down stern railing that way you can load and unload people and things into the back let's take a look at the front you've got your single water cannon that's you know on a little mount full rotation and then we come through here this area was just a little passenger area you've got some thermal and firefighting stuff here and this is a single person operation so you've got your electric maneuvering thrusters here and oh, almost forgot the fuel let's try that again get a throttle up so it's pretty simple it runs off a clutch and uh you've got your anchors all your lights here they actually updated this so it's got quite some modernification yeah so we got rough C mode it's got autopilot it's got everything quite a cool cool ship so let's take off a clutch and we stalled out <laughs> there we go I don't know why it's being uh, kind of weird. So 
so it's, it's got a pretty decent uh, top speed I believe it was 40 something almost 50 from the last time I used it so as long as I don't st keep stalling it I'll never stall it before but uh, maybe it's something they added in an update that makes it more likely to stall so let's try to slowly get it up to speed There we go. Before you could just jam it and uh, put out the clutch and it'll just go. Well, there we are. We're making making way. We'll just slowly add the throttle instead of dumping it all. really strange but that's all right so it is quite maneuverable and it's quite good in rough sea and it's even got a rough sea mode to try and counteract some of the waves. So let's turn these waves all the way up. Because I know it can handle it just fine. And it's obviously fully waterproofed completely. So you can flip it and tumble it all around and you'll be perfectly okay. So let's turn on rough sea mode and see exactly what it does. Because I don't usually use it. So you can see it kind of keeps it perfectly straight. Makes it ride pretty level as if there's not even any waves really. Don't know how it's doing that but anyways yep pretty cool ship. This is the one I use the most obviously because well it used to be very quick but I, I don't know if something got bricked in the update because the engines are just dying now when I put it into full beams. Yeah, completely dead in the water. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, peace out.